In a lot of the discussions that we have about moving abroad, we focus on the adults. We focus on either you as a mom or as a father or as a single mom or a single person moving abroad. And we talk less about the children and how moving abroad can be a benefit to them. So today I wanted to talk about some of the benefits that moving abroad can bring to your children. I am a wife and a mom of four kids. My kids are 10 years old, nine years old, and the twins are seven years old, so two boys and two girls. And I've been thinking about what would be the benefits for them, for this whole move for them. And I am a third culture kid. What is a third culture kid? A third culture kid is a kid who grew up in, a, in an environment, in a country that is not their parents' country. So my parents are from the Congo. So originally I'm Congolese, but I was born and raised in Morocco. Okay, so born and raised in Morocco, eh, but of Congolese parents. So I am a third culture kid. And from that perspective, I know that there were a lot of benefits. A lot of great things came out of being able to live in an environment that is not necessarily my parents' environment, but I also had my parents' culture in an environment that is not my parents' culture, right? So it's it's a mix. And I wrote down some of the benefits that moving abroad could bring to my children and to your children if you are thinking of moving abroad with your kids. And so one of the first benefits is that more than likely you're going to have your kid in an international school, or even if it's not an international school, it's going to be with kids of diverse background. So that to me was a major, major benefit because we went to an international school. It was a French school and people were from all over the place. As long as they spoke French, which we do at home, then you would have friends from Morocco, from France, from Belgium, from different places around the world. As long as they spoke French, they were in that school. So my friends were from all over. They had different skin tone. They had different cultures and all of that. So that is a major, major benefit for your children to be exposed to that and to have friends from all over the world. That's the first benefit. The second benefit, which is similar, is to be exposed to different cultures. And when you're exposed to different cultures, you have a better sensitivity, a better understanding of other people's cultures. And that makes you a responsible adult. That makes you a more sensitive adult when you can better understand conflicts, you can better understand and adjust to certain situations because you know the culture, you know the cultural nuances that when somebody from a, I would say, Japanese culture, for example, talks to you and they say certain things, you would not get, I don't know, um, shocked about something they say because you understand the culture, okay? So no, no matter the scenario, whether you're a kid or you're grown up at, at that point, you would have that better understanding of what people mean when they say certain things because you know their cultural background and you know that that's what they do in that culture, okay? So you're not shocked about these things. You have that cultural understanding. Still in, on culture, number three is language. The only reason why I am quadrilingual is because I was born and raised in Morocco. So like I said, at home we speak French, okay? My parents speak to us in French, however, we went to church uh, <laughs> to, we went to church on Sundays to an international slash American church. So technically, we learned English by reading the hymnal books and by going to Sunday school and by interacting with the American kids at church and all of that, right? So that was good practice. We only learn formally learn English in sixth grade. Okay, in the French system, you start taking one foreign language in sixth grade. But before that, we were already fluent in English. We didn't know the proper grammar, but we already knew how to speak English because of that exposure. Same thing for Spanish. And that's even a little more um, interesting is because we grew up in the northern part of Morocco. In the northern part of Morocco, you get Spanish television, Spanish radio. So everybody in the north of Morocco is fluent in Spanish because we're so close to Spain and we watch TV in Spanish. So you grew up watching cartoons in Spanish because all the television channels are but two. Like you will have five television channels that are Spanish and two that are Moroccan, that are Arabic, right? And so that's how you learn Spanish. You are fluent in Spanish before you take your second foreign language in, which would be 
um, seventh or eighth grade, that's when you take your second foreign language. And I, to our first one was English and the second one was Spanish, but everybody was already fluent. It was more about literature in Spanish and grammar and things like that. But everybody in class was pretty much already fluent in Spanish. So being exposed to languages and being able to learn languages, that is a huge benefit for your children. So French was my first, Spanish was my second before I came to the US and then it kind of switched because I don't back, I don't practice Spanish as much as I, I speak English here. And English was my third and then Arabic because Morocco, everybody speaks Arabic, right? Because it's, uh, it's Moroccan, I mean, it's Morocco, right? And so everybody speaks Spanish. So you go to the store, you speak in Arabic, you go to the market, you speak in Arabic and all of that, right? So four languages, I don't practice Arabic that much. I try to practice Spanish as much as I can. And I do have opportunities here in Texas, so it's it's not that hard. But English, it's now it's the language that I speak every day that I dream in. Um, I still count in French, though. That's the thing that I still do in French is to count. Past 10, it's hard for me to count in English. That's fun facts. I don't know why. But counting, I st counting and writing months and days of the week, I still do that in French sometimes. So language, that would be a great reason for you, for your kids to, to enjoy moving abroad that move because they will be able to learn a new language if you move to a country that has another language other than English. Okay. So for us, we are picking a French speaking country. So my kids will definitely be able to adapt rapidly because kids absorb languages like this, right? They watch cartoons, they have friends that speak that language. It will be a lot easier for them to learn a new language. Number four, adaptability. Adaptability. Kids tend to adapt a lot faster than us grown-ups. They will play with whoever is there, whether they speak or they don't speak, whether they speak English or not, they will play with them just because they're kids and they have a ball and they will play with them. That's how kids function. They don't overthink the whole process of making friends and relationships and are they going to like me or are they in the same social class or did they like the same thing as I do? No, as adults, we do think about those things, but kids just want to have fun. They just want to go to the park and play with whoever is there, okay? And so adaptability, it's going to be a lot easier for your kids than for yourself as an adult. And even as they grow up as adults and as third culture kids, they will be able to be more adaptable in environments that are different because they've been exposed to different cultures. Okay, so even as adults, the fact that you move in abroad with them as kids, when they're kids, as adults, they'll be able to be more adaptable as well to different cultures. Last but not least, depending on where you go, depending on how long you stay there, that could also be a fast path for residency for them and also citizenship in some cases. Let's say you choose to move abroad next year and you have a child in that new country. Well, depending on where you go, that child could have direct citizenship to that country just because they are born there. So again, depending on the country you're going to, but that could be a fast path to residency and citizenship for your children and for yourself because you spend time there because your kids grew up there or because you have children born in that new country. Okay. So these are five benefits for your kids. If you're moving abroad, we always talk about the parents, but the kids will really, really benefit from this move as well. So uh, depending on the age of your children, you can talk to them about that and the things that they're looking forward to doing. And you'll see that there are a lot of things that will really, that will be really, really, really be beneficial for them once you move abroad, once you live abroad. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about my kids and how they're going to adapt or about being a third culture uh, kid or anything like that, how I'm planning for, um, for our own move, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to come back and um, give you some answers. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.